For a long time, exile-run media groups have filled the news gap caused by pervasive state censorship in military-run Burma. No news organization has played a more vital role in telling Burma's story to the world than the exile-run Democratic Voice of Burma, or DVB. Based in Oslo, Norway, DVB maintains a team of over 100 undercover video reporters inside Burma, who often undertake great personal risk to report the news while avoiding detection by government authorities. That daring was on display with DVB's groundbreaking coverage of the 2007 Saffron Revolution, where the military government cracked down violently on Buddhist monk-led street demonstrations and tightly censored the local media coverage of the events. DVB's exclusive footage, which was picked up by many international broadcasters, showed troops firing on unarmed demonstrators. DVB's reporters are often forced to film from hidden locations due to government bans against using video equipment without a permit. Even with those restrictions, DVB has produced a consistent flow of investigative reports, including exclusive video coverage of the 2008 Cyclone Nargis disaster that resulted in the deaths of an estimated 138,000 people. While state-controlled media showed endless footage of Hunta leaders distributing humanitarian aid, DVB's reports focused on the extreme human suffering the military regime tried to hide from public view. Many DVB reporters have suffered immensely for their reporting activities. DVB claims that 17 of their video reporters are currently being held behind bars. Twelve of them have remained nameless due to concerns their sentences would be lengthened and prison conditions worsened if authorities discovered they were affiliated with DVB. Newly elected President Thein Sein has insinuated in recent speeches that his government will allow more space for local media to report and encourage Burmese in exile that it's safe for them to return home. But as long as his military-backed administration continues to imprison and treat the DVB's reporters like enemies of the state, his vows of reform and reconciliation will ring hollow.